Wild Wild Web. Powered by Alta Vista. This week on the Wild Wild Web. Get ready for the next wave of online gaming. The best thing about waking up online, Rockapella. Justin Hall and Homepage make it to Sundance. And what to do about MP3, the latest controversy on the latest technology. Only on the Wild Wild Web. Justin Hall had cult status in the early days of the web, and I have to admit, when I saw the piece being edited in the other room, I thought to myself, I have visited Justin's pages in the past. Links to the underground, I followed his days at Swarthmore. Well, from his life on the computer screen, it's now moved to the silver screen, and we caught up with Justin Hall at the Sundance Film Festival, promoting his movie, Homepage. I'm Doug Block, and I'm at the Sundance Film Festival with uh, Homepage, and this is Justin. I'm the subject of Homepage, and uh, Doug met me online, and uh, he started hanging around my life. I was yeah. doing my thing making web pages, oh, and he took a lot of footage, and uh, I got him to make his own website, and he made his own website, and it, it uh, made Doug Block a new person, and the movie all about it is shown today. Justin, you're supposed to do this in 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, well, I was, I was expanding, I was and going off. Sound bites, sound bites. Homepage is a movie about the human experience on the internet, a theme which compelled veteran documentarian Doug Block to search the net for obsessive users and site creators like Justin Hall, whose lives he would chronicle on film. One philosophy prof here, I said to him, I went up to him to ask him to support my major or support my class, support some of my efforts here institutionally, you know. I'm just doing all these things that are all from these, it's, it's a combination of art and writing and religion and this and that and computer science and he's like, you know, I think, I think you're like the internet. I think you're all connections and no grounding. And so sometimes I think, I really am. I'm like, I'm like the physical embodiment of the internet. This is it, like, this is the moment where like, you know, I'm just the, the, the I mean, but where do I go from there? I discovered the web through an, actually an article in the New York Times I read about it said the web's coming and this is pretty interesting. In 1993, I, I got on the web. I was already at college on the internet a lot. I just hadn't seen the web. I was doing email all the time and news groups and I saw the web and I said, man, this is fantastic, but people are using it for such useless stuff. It's so, so uniquely useless that people have these web pages where they're just saying w w what their hobbies are and you know what their dog looks like and all this sort of thing. And I thought, man, if these guys are doing these kinds of web pages, this can't be nothing hard to do. HTML is easy as hell. That's right. If you can get on a computer, man, you can get on the web. You can make web pages like right. that. Making good web pages is the, you know, is the trick. During the making of the movie, Doug Block realized that in order to understand the compulsion to create a homepage, he'd have to make one of his own. The web drew Doug in, and he was inevitably drawn to sharing his personal story around with all these people that he was filming. Well, the, the and so teaching him was a, a, a process of watching this person unfold into what it was that they thought they'd simply be chronicling, and in fact they were joining. Aww. So that came full circle. Come on, give me a break. Click on the other, the old Netscape window there. Try uh, uh, make it look spiffy. I found, as a young writer, the power, mojo stories were the ones that people didn't want to talk about. I mean, the skeletons in the family closet, the skeletons, you know, what happened between you and your girlfriend that, you know, was really genesis, the stuff that originated the whole relationship. That's the stuff that makes people write letters that makes people say no one ever talks about this stuff well they don't talk about it because it's embarrassing the themes of the film started emerging and to my surprise the biggest theme was the search for intimacy the search for making real life relationships work i had a strange experience last night with my boyfriend where you know we kind of got in a fight the other day because like i put this picture of him up on the web Needless to say, he got really, really mad, and and um, so he like wasn't talking to me, and we got in a big fight, and then I couldn't like tell him certain things on the phone because I just don't feel comfortable saying stuff sometimes, but I feel way more comfortable often typing stuff. So like we met in uh, the taco bar in my uh, Malice Palace. It was like here we have these like stupid happy faces representing us and I can like tell him that I really care about him and I, I, I don't have to like worry if a nervous smile is going to cross my face. At the very end I moved my stupid little avatar and gave him like a kiss you know and it was so stupid you know it was just so lame but like it was real. The internet is a place where it will receive 
all that you got to put out. So if you got a million stories, you can put them all up and maybe people will read them. You know, my father passed away when I was young and he was an alcoholic and that was really hard for me to deal with, you know, his absence and stuff. Well, as it turns out, there's a lot of other people going through that, you know? But I can go on the internet all of a sudden and there's people talking honestly and directly about personal relationships in a way that's important to me because it tells me that I'm not alone in feeling the way that I do about my life. If you want to find out more about Justin Hall, homepage, or anything else you've seen on our show, come to our website, getwild.com. And while you're there, be sure to download Web Choice TV. It's a really cool program that will automatically launch your browser to the web page we're referring to. Simple to set up, easy to use, and it's free. Did we mention it was free? Uh, free is great. Yeah, we did. Free is great. It's at our website, getwild.com. And you'll want to tune in next week when we help you organize your life online, from managing your money to planning your first or second wedding. It's practical uses of the web here on the Wild Wild Web. So you won't want to miss it. We'll see you next week. The Wild Wild Web. Powered by AltaVista. Find it at www.altavista.com.